Welcome to Cairo, Egypt, for the first Karate One Premier League of the 2023 season. Our program comes to you live from the Cairo International Stadium and is being broadcast around the world and live streamed on Karate World TV. This is the second time Cairo has played host to the prestigious Karate One Premier League in recent years. In the following two days of fierce competition, we're now at the business end of the tournament. No less than eight Karate One Premier League Grand winners from last season were among the host of Olympic world and continental champions. I'm Billy Brennan and joining me to provide you with live commentary of all of the action is the wonderful, the incredibly talented Olympic bronze medalist Gianna Lotfi. Thank you, Betty, so much for being with you today. I'm really going to enjoy commenting on some matches, and it will be my honor to be with you today. Well, it's, I feel honored as well because you, Gianna, have won so many. You're such a, an icon in the world of karate. Thanks. And it's, it's been a pleasure refereeing you from time to time, commentating on your ability. And look at the lineup that we have here. We're going to be starting off the session with the female individual kata, and then we're going to get on to the kumite. So you're obviously a kumite specialist, but how do you feel about kata? Actually, I was a kata player at the beginning when I started play, playing karate. I've been a kata player for four years before doing kumite. So I actually like kata so much. I like how they perform and how they move. It's really <laughs> so comf gives gives you self confidence. Wow, perfect. It's very a, a very graceful aspect yes. of the discipline of karate, yes, isn't for it? Sure. And and for those who are not perhaps so familiar with karate, there are three key areas: the key on, which includes the basic kicks and blocks and punches and strikes. There's the kata that we will be seeing in just a moment. And the kata brings together all of those techniques in a set sequence on the, on the mat in a particular routine that must follow the tradition. And in kata, you find kata in other martial arts, in judo, for example, but also in other walks of life. The chai uh, discipline of the tea-making ceremony, that's a kata. So it's not just in the martial art of karate where we will find this. The other element is your area of expertise, Diana. That's kumite. Mm -hmm. That's where everybody has uh, been given the skills and given the tools to be able to compete one-to-one -one on the tatami. How long have you been involved in kumite and uh, how do you feel about being an Olympic bronze medalist? Actually, I've, um, I've been uh a committee player for more than Missal Herald Kahira, Missal Herald Sangdad Wal Sada. Good afternoon, in Cairo. Being, uh, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome Olympic everybody like to the Cairo International come come Stadium and welcome to this edition of the Karate One Olympic Premier League by the, the World Karate Federation and the Egyptian yay. Karate Federation. <laughs> this is Olympics, not only the first stop of 2023. So this tournament to is crucial because most of the new grand the winners Perfect. will be crowned that here a, in a, Cairo. A, a so it's time and for I'm the finals. Time to Olympic see who the winners are the, here the in Cairo. This first, first category on our, our tatami. Female kata gold medal match. Discipline. And the current world champion, the current grand winner and the current Olympic champion Sandra Sanchez from Spain has retired from international competition so the doors wide open for someone else to come through and who is that likely to be so We've here we have our final, seven referees ready to judge two Olympians, the, the cut Olympic performances medalist and the Olympic silver medalist wow wow it's gonna be what a, a good, treat very good and now very good it's match. time to meet the competitors so Introducing first, Grace, Aka, ready in red, China. coming from Hong Kong, China, number two at the world ranking, silver medal in Baku, Rabat and Matosinos last year, silver medal at the Asian Championship and bronze medal at the Olympic Games, please welcome Lomo Sean Grace. 
And as you heard from Hossein Redondo. And her opposition today. Oh, red and blue. Coming from Olympic Japan, number six at the world ranking. Gold medal last year in Fujairan Matosinhos. Silver medal at the Olympic Games. Please welcome Shimizu Kiju. And Shimizu Kiju, double world champion. Aka Papuren, Ao, Shimana Nakusanku. She gets her inspiration from watching figure skating. Actually, she's a good one inside out. <laughs> I love her. I love Shimizu so much. They are, they are so talented, these two. And um, the, the Olympic silver medalist in Kyo and Shimizu Kyo. This, this is the world championship year. She could be going for her third world championship title. There's a lot of pressure in that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Being a world champion and keeping the title is it's harder than being the world champion for the first time. Keeping uh, or holding the title for a long time, it's a lot of pressure. But you've got to maintain that standard for four years. It, it's, it's a two-year cycle, isn't it? Yeah. So to do that is very, very difficult indeed. First on the tatami will be Lao Mu Xiong Grace. Uh, Lao Mu is 31 years of age. And she is the Olympic bronze medalist, and she has a great track record here in the Karate One Premier League. Now, there's something that's also really important about this match. And the fact is, the person who wins this match becomes grand winner. Wow. That is just... how tight <laughs> it is. At the moment, at the moment, we have uh, Hikaru Uno, who has 3,300 points. Ma Lamu Sion Grace, she has 2,820 points. If Lamu wins, she becomes grand winner. If she loses, then it could be Hikaru Uno. But it's going to be so difficult. Now she has to win this because if she doesn't, Hikaru Uno takes it because she took the bronze medal in the Premier League here. Oh. So is that tight? That's very tight, but the good thing she has to enjoy. Uh, of course, of course. The she, she wants to win this match. She wants to win the Premier League. She wants to become the grand winner. For sure. But you can put too much pressure on yourself, can't yes. you? Yes. You have to enjoy doing karate. Because the only thing we, we love, we love to do, is doing karate, playing kata, playing komite. And uh, I wish both of them good luck. But we can only get one winner. There can only be one winner. You're absolutely right. different styles of karate, the main styles, Shotokan, Wadaru, Shitoru, and Gojoru. Each of them have their own katas. And there are subtle differences, aren't there, between the styles, Diana, in kata. Different, uh, different stances, different feet position. Very, very important to kata to get them correct. To do it. particular kata called Papuren. Now with the round robin 
system is possible to repeat cutters in different stages of the competition in the round robin Lamu Xiong Grace has already performed this kata Papua and she also performed Anshu, Tamarino Basai and Sutrempe, Chatnyara Kushanku also. These are all names of katas. You see the red on her shoulders in the Karate One Premier League, in fact in all WKF events now. The athletes have to wear the red on their shoulders, don't they? All blue, depending yeah. on which colours they're drawn. Yes. That was a very good performance, wasn't yes, it? Yes, very strong performance. So she's set out her stall. Those seven judges are going to be considering that performance. They've put their scores in. There's only one line of scores now. So there used to be 70% for technical, 30% for uh, athletic performance. That's no longer the case. Seven judges put in one score. The top one and the bottom one are taken away, and the other five, their scores remain. So what is Shimizu Kyo going to do to try and take this, this gold medal? One of her favorite kata, Chatnyara no Kushanku. She's chosen to use Chibana no Kushanku rather than Chatanyara this time. Sometimes it's good to just change your choice of techniques. To try yes, to, to, to try, try something kata, different. To try something different to see if it's good for you to use it in the finals for the next times or not. Excellent stances there. Zenkutsu Dachi, Niko Dachi, Shiko Dachi. All really important to get these exactly right. Yeah. Too many. Yes. Landed that jump really well, didn't she? Very good balance. Often finding kata where the tempo of the of the movements change from being very very slow and graceful to explosive fast movement. This is the jumping front kick, the Toby Maigeri. and the back for a strike. It's going to be tough for the judges, don't yes, you think? Yes, both were very good. Now, you're not a, a kata judge. You have a, been a kata player. Do you have a preference between the, what you've just seen? <laughs> or are you going to be a I'm diplomat and say, I don't know, I just hope they both... Actually, I'm going to see what the referees are going <laughs> to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the fence, that's called. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. wait and see. the. Chief referee will make their way around to the side of the tatami and will go between the two players and then award either red or blue. And on the bottom of the screen, you'll see the graphic, and the graphic will show you 
what that score is. Uh, could be anywhere between zero and 100. Perfect scores or... My heart beats. <laughs> it is. So what's it going to be? And it is going to... Kyo Shimizu Kiyu. Gold medal for Shimizu Kiyu from Japan. Silver medal, low motion race from Hong Kong, China. Congratulations for both. chance to have a look at how that went. Our Tatami is getting ready for some Kumite action. Remember, we'll be having a special demonstration later on. The Guardian Girls Karate Project. We'll let you know about this a little bit later. So we're moving now from Kata to your favorite discipline, Kumite. Excited to, to get involved and watch this from this side of the So desk. it seems so everything is, is ready for house, some Kumite yes, action. Let's introduce <laughs> our next category on our tatami. Female but Kumite, minus 50 kilograms, fact, gold medal Picaro match. Uno. Female from Kumite, Japan, under 50 kilograms, gold medal bout. So as the referees make their way to the position on the tatami, it's time for the female minus 50 kilogram category. And this is the gold medal bout between... Egypt so we have already introduced our referees. Let's go now with the competitors. Calling first, Aka, wearing red, coming from Egypt. Number four at the world ranking. Gold medal in Waba the last season. She is the current African champion, Salama Rim Ahmed. Rimama. And her opposition today, Ao, word in blue, Scored coming from coming Venezuela. One. Number one at the world ranking, gold medal in Baku, Ana Matosinos. She's the current Pan American champion. Please welcome Jorgelis Salazar. She's up against tough opposition here with Jorgelis Salazar. She's taken two gold medals already this season in the Karate One Premier League. Salama was first in Rabat. So, Diana, do you know these players personally? Yes, yes, I know them. They are both very strong players. This match is going to be one of my favorites. As you know, Reem uh, is from Egypt also, and we were uh, training at the same um, team before the Olympics, and she's a very good one. Uh, under a bit of pressure there. It was a good attack there from Gigelis Salazar. But Salama managed to keep herself out of trouble. 
three minute bouts. That was very close. And as you see, the yellow dot on the graphic, that's a warning for stepping off the tatami. Oh, very oh, good counter yeah. punch there. Yeah. From Reem Ahmed Salama. The coach is trying to keep calm, keep calm. You've got a point ahead, that's really good. And you'll get the Sentu advantage unless this video review is successful. And the change in the rules, uh, are you enjoying the, the new rules? Um, actually, I prefer the best ones because it gives you? you more chance to, to do more techniques. Now, you only get four penalties from the both you have Mind, to be you, you, have, you to have to be very careful absolutely and you have to win through scoring points yes. very very good rims taking the central She's on fire. She's yeah. doing so, so well. 2-0. She has the sent you. And, of course, she still has the video review facility there as well because the VR on the side of that score shows that. The video review was re rejected for Salazar, so the VR sign on the right of her screen you see is gone. So just to give explanation to the graphic that you see, those yellow dots relate to warnings and penalties. The score is obviously in those boxes. Time in the middle, and the green dot signifies the sent you advantage. Oh, <laughs> a great kick. <laughs> She's on fire. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? So quick. 5-0, and we are, we're still more than halfway through. Yes. What is Salazar going to do? When you're in a position, if you find yourself behind, and I probably guess you've never been that far behind for too Some long. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally. But what's going on in your mind when you're, when you're having to come back into the match and, and get points? To keep fighting till the last second. As you see, she scored. Yeah. She scored the Wazari. You keep fighting till the referee says the match is in. And, and here she's got a two-point yes. score, which is really, really important because he's, she's closing down that gap now between the two of them. But it's keeping, keeping calm, keeping composure. Yes, yes. And not to panic, I yes, guess. Yes, yes. Oh, another kick. <laughs> Where on earth did that come from? Wow. Salazar got way to one side. Thought he was home and safe. And in came that hooking kick. Salazar, have, she has to concentrate. But look, the, the ease. And, and, and this has become a feature I've, I've noticed of the Egyptian fighters, the ability to kick from any range with either foot. Wow, it's just phenomenal. And, and we've been seeing a lot of double kicks as well. Yes, yes. Actually, we train a lot of, for the kicks and the double kicks. <laughs> and the kicks with the rotation. Yes, the spinning, spinning kicks. And, and quite right too, because uh, a punch like this is fantastic, mm -hmm. but it's only one point. Yes. And look what we have with those kicks. Eight points to two. Eight points to three it is now. into the last 25 seconds. So Salazar's got a lot of work to do if she's to try and come back into contention. But as you say, Gianna, she's not going to stop fighting, is she? She's still competing. Another excellent point from Reem Ahmed Salama. I mean, she's only 23 years of age. She's really just coming up from the junior ranks 
What a star she's going to she's be. She's a world champion and uh, under 21. Yes, but as a senior. Yes. She's, she, and this, this is what happens, isn't it? People come up from the junior ranks and, and, and take by storm the senior ranks because they make a shock to the fighters that have been there for some time. They tend to say, who is this? That's it. Nine points to four. Great match. Haka! What we're finding is... Gold medal, Salama Reem Ahmed from Egypt. Super medal, Yor Elis Salazar from Venezuela. Congratulations, both of you. In the Premier League. 15 12. But here, look, 9 score. Big scores. Big scores. And with the. So with the there video, she we're goes. The rules, with the Salama new, Reem Ahmed. Uh, change to the rule where. Gold a, medalist you go here in Cairo 2023. And you get scored on a three. Congratulations. Course. That's a big change, isn't it? Yes, yes. Because at first, when you uh, are on the ground. Depends on what if, if your body is on yes. the ground. <laughs> yes. But but it's now possible to score higher. And that and there, look at that. Wow. That was so quick. So What's that feeling like? Wow. When <laughs> when you when you know that you just so let's something go special. with the boys. What was it like in the Olympics when you won the bronze category. medal? Actually, I did the Male same Kumite, minus the 60 kilograms, gold going medal match. Compete on the semi-final. Male the Kumite, when you got out of the pool, yeah. I gave the gold same medal medal match. and my vocal cords was hurting me for a month after. <laughs> I can understand. I can understand. Quite right. Wow. Male Kumite this time. Introducing first, Aka, we're in red. From and Kazakhstan, again, an number four at the world the ranking, bronze medal in Baku last season. Please welcome the Kaisar Alpizve. It's beautiful, it's massive, and the, the way that the Federation have put together the Karatuan Premier Leagues and massive and his whole position to today. But how, how does it make you feel as athletes? Must make Wedding you feel blue so proud. from Very Egypt. Proud. Number 74 at the World Ranking. He's another Egyptian young talent. He wants the goal here. Please welcome Mohamed Gaber. But I'm so proud that my colleagues are joining and playing some tournaments in their country. Yeah. Now I'm going to pick up on something you just said. You said when I was a player. Yeah. Tell me about that. Actually, I retired after the Olympics. Right. Yeah. Uh, because I saw that I have to end up by the Olympics. <laughs> what, what a place to uh, hang your hat up, so yes. to speak, and say, I, this, is, this is the place to but stop. Actually, it was a very hard decision. I bet it was, me. because you were still performing at that yes, level. I was still performing, and this is what I was doing for the past 21 or 22 years. So my whole life was about karate. I want to find out what the next chapter is going to be about after this match here. So this is the male minus 60 kilogram category. It's between Kaisar El Pazbi of Kazakhstan wearing the red colors and Mohammed Gaber of Egypt. Uh, these two have been both capable of high scores. Three, five, two in the first round from Gaber. Eight, one in the semi-final in the six and a, a 6-2 result for Al Bisbee. So again, we'll be looking for the high scoring techniques of the kicks to the head and the takedowns to the mat. Gabaya hasn't won any Karate One Premier League medals, but he has uh, been a continental silver medalist. The video review from his coach the coach of Kaiser Al Pisbi.
So with the split screen, there are four of them, and they will zero in on the one that they feel shows the best technique. Now, the coach doesn't stipulate what the score was, so it's for the video review team to decide. And the re re uh, response here was that there was a no, and you see the red VR has disappeared now, so the coach can't pull in that anymore. Two punches going in. At the same time, Al Pisby secures his first point, and he gets the Senchu advantage to go with it. And there you have the green dot that shows the Senchu. And being able to, on the video review, being able to, as a, as a competitor now, when, when you were competing, you couldn't do that. It had to be your coach. Now, the athletes can ask for the video review. So that must be a good, th good thing for the athletes. Yes, for sure, because sometimes the coaches couldn't see the, the punch or the kick, but you are the one who feel it. So it's perfect if you, if you can say or you can ask for the video review. Still the two points between them, and the Senchu remains with Kaysar al -Pizvi. Just going over to get a bit of attention. So in a situation like this, when you're competing and your opponent goes off for some attention, what, what's going through your mind Actually, when you're waiting for them? If I, w I was not the one who scores, um, I keep saying to myself, keep calm. There is a, long, a lot of time. Keep calm and listening to my coach, to what he's saying, because it's, it's, it's perfect to have a coach outside who can see uh, that the from outside and yeah. telling you what... The wider picture. Yes, a wider picture, because in that tatami, you don't see enough, so he's, he's seeing from outside and he's telling you what to do, and you have to listen. Absolutely. There's just a bit of running repair, not quite sure. It may have been an injury, and some strapping is required. And as you see, exactly what you were talking about, yes. the coach and the player now just... There has to be a harmony between the coach... And you have and to have trust in the coach as well, don't you? Yeah, very much, very much. And the concern from the Tarek, he's uh, concerned about his player. Is he going to be okay? Yeah, he's fine. Looks like he's coming back for the, to join the match again. Get back underway. Mohamed Gabir in blue, who is trailing. Nearly walked into a hooking kick there. Double punches going in. But it is Gaber who has pulled back one of those points. Quite clever because he came in and did a double punch, didn't he? Yeah. First one was unsuccessful, but the second one got in there. And this will lift his confidence, won't it? Punches flying in from every direction. You see the referee calling Wajarete to separate them. This is a good thing, isn't it? To give you a chance. Before, you'd be penalised too easily. Yes, yes. But actually, it ruined the techniques from, from the small spaces. <laughs> yes. As you know, some, uh, some players were doing the Uramawashi technique. Angelika Teliuga, yes. for example, yeah. absolutely amazing. Um, uh, Sarah Posilik, another, yeah. can kick from, from close. And, yeah, yes. and yourself, of course, and yourself, of course.
into the last eight seconds we go. Alves Bay holding off his opponent as best he possibly can. Cabrera still struggling to come in. Tries to take him to the mat. No possibility of a score. Time is up. And the gold medal goes to Kaiser Alves Bay of Kazakhstan. Aka takes the gold medal here in Cairo 2023. Kaiser Alpes Bay from Kazakhstan. Silver medal, Mohamed Gaber. Congratulations to both of you. And the formal bow. Very key part of karate, the sport of karate is the discipline, isn't it? And the respect at the beginning, at the end. Whatever the outcome, whether you win, whether you lose, there's always the respect for your opponent. One of the best things that I learned from karate is to respect your opponent and to know when to stop when you are going to hurt him. Yes. We play one of the exchanges. There we go. There is a one of those strong punches. So in your build-up, we have a new category of the way. for the Olympics. How, how, that must have been so difficult. So, I think karate had one of the most difficult qualification processes of any of the sports in the you know, Olympics. Actually, we had to play more than 25 events to get scored. <laughs> I remember that once in 2019, we had a Premier League in Japan, and after four days, we had another Series A in Chile. So. <laughs> Here my we buddy have our was, referees, oh and now God, let's go with the competitors. Introducing first, as usual, wow. Aka, ready, uh, red, so from tough, Egypt. But for me, I was so happy Please to qualify for the Olympics. Please welcome the number 29 of the world ranking, silver medal, a Series uh, A here last I'm year, so happy to be the, the Hassan. To be there. And I was so proud. What an experience. Very hard to qualify, but, but competing in the Budokan. Yeah. And her all position My today. I, I was fortunate oh, enough, I was commentating there, so I, I know Ukraine, exactly what the atmosphere was like. I had the people in she the audience, but the atmosphere was still amazing. Another surprise here, please yeah. welcome Anna Prasenko. That was because of COVID, wasn't it? Dreadful. And how difficult was it with all of those PCR test that you had to keep taking every few seconds almost. Every day, every day we have to make a PCR. No wonder you are special people who win the Olympics. I was scared of being, oh my God, it's positive, no. Yeah, I, yes, of course. I think there were one or two cases, but uh, not so many in the Olympics. But as soon as there was, the poor athlete was taken or the official, yeah. whoever it was, yeah. But you had to keep that, the bubble. The bubble, yes. The bubble. Female minus 55 kilogram category. And this is between, again, Egypt, Salma Hassan, another Egyptian fighter. Like Egypt. Incredible. The standard, but the, but the quality and depth of your team is immense you've got athletes who are going for bronze and in the finals in lots of weights how many people are practicing karate in egypt roughly wow it's a huge number more than million three hundred wow yes we have a very large base in egypt that's practicing karate those are the one um, who are in the federation there are too many people practicing, but they are not in the federation. So it's the most popular sport in Egypt after football. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. But no score at the moment, both on a single warning, those yellow dots, as you see. If you look at this, the scoreboard at the back, you see a red bar and a blue bar. They are the same.
this sort of cagey moment, isn't it? Neither one of them wants to break the deadlock and go behind. It's all an important part of the match, isn't it, to have that kind of psychological battle going on? To know how to get your point. So what, what's in your mind when you're, com when you're competing? You're testing your opponent, see what they react to when you do that sort of movement? Actually, when I was a player, I was bringing all the matches of my uh, opponents and see them before going to the, the day of competition to know how they attack, how they defense, to know their uh, special techniques, to get ready for them. So you study them? Yes. And your coach obviously does. Yes, and do you yes. sit down together, look at the TV screens and watch? Yes, and analyze everything. That in itself takes a lot of time, doesn't it? Yeah. So there's training, there's competing, there's traveling, there's studying. You have to be to, to, to win and to be the best. You have to be professional full-time athletes now, don't you? Yeah, sure, for sure. But a lot of time is going for the training and the rest is going for the study. Now, this is the first time we've seen a uh, Hante decision. It'll be the judges, first of all, and three out of the four have gone for blue. It used to be that the referee would have a decision as well, but that doesn't happen oh. unless it breaks a deadlock Goal between 2-2. So, a Philippe really strong for win there Protsenko from, from Anna Ukraine. Protsenko Silver of Ukraine Salman taking that Hassan win. From Egypt. Congratulations to both of you. Obviously, much better to to win winning the points rather than have the judges yeah. um, vote for you, so to speak. But a win is a win. And to be honest with you, Anna, she was a, a, a pretty much a rookie to the Karate One Premier League there she goes, medal bags. She hasn't won any medals at Her World first Continental gold medal Premier League. League event. And here gold she goes home with a gold medal first time. First time medal. Phenomenal, isn't it? And she, uh, she beat the grand winner, her teammate, to get into the final. Wow. And Olympic silver medalist, Angelica Teliuga. Oh. About the okay, How is moving that? on. Oh. Next category on our team here with the pedigree of Angelica Taliuga. You can kilogram. see, though, because she's come away with a gold, gold medal, match it wasn't luck, was at it? This category, no. male Old Kumite skill under 67 kilograms. Male minus 67 kilogram category next. Here we have our five referees in charge. And this is going to be quite and an exciting bout as well, Gianna. It's a in rematch. First, and a rematch of the Baku Premier League three. final. Number Same two three. At the world ranking, silver medal in Baku, gold medal in Robert last year, silver medalist at the last European Championship. Please welcome Dionysios, Dionysios Zenos. Zenos. He won in Rabat. He and took a silver in Baku. Opposition today. Oh, and as I say, this is a, a rerun of that. France, so this superstar ranking, that's coming on to the Tatami, the Olympic champion. She is the current champion of the world. The world and champion. the current Olympic champion, please welcome The Steven youngest French girl to win a, a world gold medal. Steven Da Costa. 26 years of age. The encounter between Zenos and Da Costa ended with Da Costa winning two points to zero. I wonder what's going to happen today. I don't know, but it's going to be a great match. And I'm super excited. Amadeel Sersi, an Egyptian referee, very experienced WKF referee. And that's a great honor, isn't it, to be refereeing in your home city, in your home country, in a place so grand is this and refereeing 
Olympic medalists, Olympic gold champions. Oh my goodness. And do you, as squad, do you train with your referees as well? Do you, do, are, you, are they involved? Yes, in yeah, the they are involved. They come from time to time to, uh, when we have, uh, like, a matches today, they come to, uh, to deal with the matches and to, uh, to score the points for us and to talk with us about the new rules to be updated. Have to. So important that you, uh, the coaches and the athletes understand exactly what the latest thinking is, isn't it? So what are your plans? Going to be a referee? No, I don't think so. Coach, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a plan? What, how does this transition go to work from an Olympic athlete professional athletes what's the transition going to look like for you actually um, my work is not too far from sports as I'm a manager of the sports sector in a company that's called Rawabit which is responsible for making sponsorship for the individual sports for the athletes that have qualification for Paris 2024 oh, so you're still in yes. the Olympics yes. <laughs> wow yes. incredible but in another way <laughs> but in a well, the, you know, the, the, these organizations, the World Karate Federation, the IOC, they all work so hard to bring the sport alive and to make it in, 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 inclusive as much as possible. Yes, and we have one point scored. Or two points. So each of them get that first point, but neither of them will have the you because it's not unopposed. This is how tight this match is between the two. We have to cost to just trying that side kick to the body. Coming up for two thirds of the way through court, that was very close. That kind of slip was a bit fortunate really, wasn't it? We got out of the way of that kick. The second warning, second chewy, that yellow dot. Oh, that almost came off for Zenith, didn't he? He came in over the top with a punch, didn't quite come off. Counter punch there from Da Costa. Video review request from the coach of Zenos. Now the video review referee will choose which of the screens to look at. At the moment, they don't know which technique is being contested because they're not in the stadium they're away from the stadium so they're not able to see what any of the action is producing they can only review their thoughts against what they see on the screen so when they stop the mash the machine will automatically go back six seconds and the referee could go back further if they need to and then they will look for a score in this case, they're looking for a score from red. So he, the first punch went out, that Kazamazugi, didn't it? And the second one came in over the top. Yes. But it's enough. Yes. And I could see you shaking your head yeah. before the result was made. So you knew it wasn't a yes, score. It was way too far. And, it, and the, there are six things that you've got to get right. There's a lot of things to get yes. right, isn't it? And distance is, is one. That was a bit better, but this time there's a video review call from the coach of Stephen DeCosta. And you see the VR against the red has now gone, so they can't call any more video reviews. Let's have a look at this situation and find out which screen they're going to go for. 
You see the referee was just calling Wakarete, called Sasukade, brought them back in. The punch went over from red. The red didn't score and it isn't being contested. The next part of the technique, I think, is where he's looking at that. But it's a no. Just five seconds still to go. 1-1 one, one it is. No sent you for either of them. Because it's a Yuko each, then it could be a Hante decision. The warnings don't come into play. It's going to be a Hante decision. The referee will blow his whistle call Hante. The four judges will make a choice. And it's 2-2. Two, two. So here is where the referee will come forward and award the match to their... Oh! The referee has that split decision to make, and he's gone in favour of Da Costa. De Costa. France, the gold so medal. tight, wasn't it? In another yeah. hand day this Actually, season. Actually, I the, the, the bout was very, very close. At the Olympics, very at tight bout. Very tight so is Steven De Costa becoming the nemesis of Dionysus. Oh! Becoming his Steven signature move. <laughs> he did that in the Olympics. He does it in the most Olympic of those. Champion. Most the current Premier League champion of the world events. now, gold medal here. He's in become Kaido so accustomed to winning. He is a great champion, though, isn't he? Yes, he is. But he's not the only one in their family because we have one of his brothers, brothers going for yeah. medals as well. Logan and Jesse de Costa are also fantastic. Actually, when he was a kid, he was playing with my brother at the same category. Right. At the cadet, yes. Is your brother still competing? It's no, time for one him, more final he here at the Cairo International World Stadium. The cadets, New category the, on the yeah, way. Three men on the committee and the 61 kilogram. Yes. We like karate. Do. And you're very, very female. good at it, that's for sure. So we're going to move on now to the female minus 61 kilogram category. And this is a match later. again between Egypt. My goodness. And we have Nursin Ali, who's going to be representing Egypt. Here we have our five referees. Rati won Premier League bronze medalist and a junior continental champion. And let's get it on. World champion in this division is Jovana Prekovic of Serbia. Aka wearing She's red. She's also the Coming Olympic champion at minus Egypt. 61 kilogram. Number 37 of the world ranking bronze medal at Series A in Koshali in 2022. Please welcome Nursin Hale. She's only 21 years old. In front of her, oh. you were perhaps watching her come up through the ranks. Heading from Ukraine, number 16 of the world ranking nice. gold medal at the Series A here in Cairo. Wow. Last year, please welcome. Alexandra Sholhova. Alexandra Sholhova from Ukraine, 22 years of age. Hasn't won again. One of these examples of a, 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 new, a new player coming onto the scene. A bit of an unknown. What's going to be the situation here? We'll have to wait and see. We're seeing so many youngsters. Uh, you know, I mean, you're, you're still very young and you're now deciding to retire. Um, is karate, in your mind, getting younger people 
getting involved at the highest level much earlier because yes. we're seeing people 19 years old winning bronze medals in Karate yes, Grand Premier League. Yes, yes, and in my opinion, it's a good thing to give them the chance to uh, appear and to play and to get medals. Exactly. And by the way, I was referring to Basmala Hassan, also from Egypt. Yes, yes, she is. She took the bronze medal yes, she is. in the same category. What are the tactics then? Uh, you know Ali so well. What are the tactics that she would be playing here? Actually, she is perfect at using his back leg and doing back flips. So maybe she's going to. Use okay. So the referee is becoming a little impatient. He'll invoke a passivity warning, which is in the rules for karate which I think has made it easier to understand, more exciting. Again, a very tight match between the two. Coming into the last minute, still no score. And not a great deal between the two because it's the decision of the referees at the end. Who's had the majority of the action and uh, who's putting in the most work, but it's not happening in either case at the moment. They're both very, very cagey, aren't they? top big roar from the crowd enthusiasm has brought up the card from the coach what did you think valid not valid good score actually I have to see the video review because the, the distance from here yeah, absolutely yeah and there's the punch there wow. It's very close, isn't it? Because she came in, and I think maybe the reason is that the range was a little bit out. Her body followed in afterwards, but that wasn't the case here. As Sholohova takes the score with 22 seconds on the clock. She'll also get the century advantage. Referee just asking the coach to just quieten down a little bit. I know there must be frustration coming in sometimes. Good use of Wakarete from the referee. Cholokova steps off the tatami. Time is up. And time wasting. She loses the centu. But she takes oh, the gold medal. Gold medal for Alexandra, Alexandra Cholokova from Ukraine. Takes the gold medal. Zero medal. And what a medal to take. Again, another one from to Ukraine. Well done. Never won a karate one medal and takes the gold now i have to say thank you so much gianna you, it's been yeah, wonderful really and you're going to be very busy in the moment because you've got a very special here. thing to do yeah. and we'll be seeing that in just a moment so thank you very much and i'll tell everybody about it in just a moment thank you. bye bye wonderful Just a chance to have a look 
at that kick round the back. Now we have a pause in the action for a moment because there's something else that's going to be happening here and it is a very important moment to tell you a little bit about the Guardian Girls Global Karate Project which is going to be launched here at the first Karate One Premier League in Cairo 2023. Guardian Girls Global Karate Project was created by the United Nations Sexual and Reproductive Health Agency, the Koimada International Foundation, the World Karate Federation. Guardian Girls Global Project. This is a, a far-reaching initiative aiming to promote gender equality and empower women and girls to defend themselves from all forms of gender-based violence throughout uh, the world and through their karate training. So in a moment we'll be seeing a demonstration by some of the instructors of the Guardian World. Now the first event of the Guardian Girls occurred here just yesterday. There was a pilot run in Los Angeles. And, and now, yesterday and we had a seminar that was taking place here in the, one of the biggest Cairo of International Stadium. Society, the Guardian Girls Global Karate Project. According to the United Nations, one in three women in the world have suffered gender-based violence. To fight this global plague, the United Nations Population Fund, the Koyamada International Foundation and the World Karate Federation have joined forces to launch the ambitious project of Guardian Girls Global Karate. Today, we want to showcase one of the many social benefits of karate. Let us introduce you our two instructors. Amy Connell, she's the WKF instructor, two-time European Championships medalist and gold medal in the Commonwealth Championships. We heard Gianna Farrug, Karateka of the National Federation of Egypt. She's a two-time world champion. Coffee, who was just and commentating Tokyo with 2020 me. Olympic Games medalist. Introducing the session for the Guardian by Girls by Mustafa El Bobashi, former Kata Junior World Champion. Without further ado, World Kata Champion in the Juniors Gianna. in 2017. So the demonstration here will be about some of the self-defense techniques that can be used in situations اسمه Guardian Girls Global Karate. الهدف من المشروع ده إن إحنا بنعرف الستات زي تعملوا مع أنواع العنف اللي بيتعرضوا لها سواء في البيت أو في الشوارع. والهدف من المشروع ده إن هو بيتعرض نوع من الكاراتيه اللي ممكن يساعدوا في مواجهة الشخصيات الجنسية المختلفة. عشان كده هنعرض معاكم بعض التكنيكات اللي ممكن الستات تستخدمها في الدفاع عن نفسها. with effective tools to help deal with these with the first unsavory and violent situations. And now, with the hair grab, there are a number of shots. techniques that are being demonstrated here. Well, Amy Connell here, two-time European champion, the Commonwealth champion. And now, she isn't, uh, with the slow motion taking one. any prisoners. She learned all of these skills through karate and is one of the Guardian Girls Global Karate Project instructors. And this technique was a, a defense, a demonstration of a defense against a hair grab. She will show you that again. Another fast one. 
taking control. That's the whole point. And what is really important about Guardian Girls Project is enabling females to grow in confidence, knowing that they have the tools and the skills to defend themselves. And it may be as simple as walking through an open door into safety. If it's necessary, though, it's possible for them to learn these kind of skills against some of the more common attacks. Slow motion one. The second of the demonstration will be from the neck attack. Trying to break the grip, turning over and using the kick to move them away. Another one fast. At all times, it's having the confidence uh, to, to know what your capability is. And if it is, it's, it's not necessary to stand and fight. That's not what it's about. Self-defense is about getting yourself out of danger, about reading dangerous situations and applying your training and skills like this to be able to escape. And this is the, the Slow blocking one. defenses. Attached to the head. And learning through the Global Girls Karate Project. It's the Guardian Girls Project's aim is to give you the skills, give females the skills to be able to deal with any situation that comes along. Not Fourth all attacks technique come from the front, some the back with one come hand. from behind. And how common it might be is uh, just a hand on the shoulder. But quickly to change that into a positive situation for the person, the victim of the attack. The slow motion one. Mohegan Bihegan Malia and and the seminar yesterday had 30 local females who don't practice karate or any martial art come along and learn from Gianna and from Amy, who are instructors in the Guardian Girls Global Karate Project. And with the skills that they've learned Last technique, themselves over both the years, practicing karate, the they're able to pass that on to individuals. People who don't practice martial arts, anybody, any age. And the idea is to just give them the confidence to know what they can do the slow motion to one. avoid getting themselves into danger and should they be attacked, have the skills to be able to get free and a way to safety. This is the double-handed front grab. And he brings her arms out, breaks free from the grip. We using that hands together a prayer motion and then pushing away with the palm heel strike. Thank you so much. So, a relatively short and sweet big, introduction big to the Guardian Amy Girls Club Karate Yana Project. And, and if you want to find out more Bashi. about this project, then please make sure that you visit the World Karate Ladies Federation and website, www.com wkf the international foundation and the united nations population fund hope that you enjoy it the demonstration of the guardian girls global karate project here today we okay, want we to have thank on the, the, the embassy of japan in egypt Don't visit and the ministry of youth and sports of egypt for their invaluable to find contribution out all you need to, the to success know of this about the guardian we girls global you appreciate karate the outstanding project. contribution of karate to make a better world. Thank you.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for more kata action, a new category on our tatami. So we're moving now away from the Guardian Girls the Global Karate Project. Ready, male kata gold and medal back match. to the tatami for some action. And this time it will be the male kata our referees, our judges division. Going and this is a gold medal bag, and it will be between another Olympian, the Olympic silver medalist, the grand winner of 2021-22 season, Damien Quintero of Spain. 11 Karate One Premier League wins. He's had 13 silver medals and 11 bronze medals. Yeah, we Phenomenal have our, uh, track record. Ready. Again, this is a, judge. a senior Please. world championship year. Gold medal match. In the current first. world champion, Aka. Rio Kuro, Ready, Japan, red, has retired. From Spain. Four time world champion. Four. Number four. And he's also the gold medalist in the were ranking. Olympic Games. He's retired. So is this the year we for Quintero? Aka. Is there a lot of. Top players in the male kata division. Otto Kasamasa took the bronze we medal are earlier for today, both as did Nishiyama Kekaru. In just a couple of minutes, both from Japan. We'll be having some Kazaki Kakuji will be the opposition for Kintero in this bout. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the next stop of the Karate One Premier League will be held in. Rabat in Morocco in May. In June, we'll be going smiles to and giggling Japan, going on Fukuoka. in the audience. They certainly and, are. Uh, after know how summer to enjoy in September, the event. The beginning of September, the current Sharing one giggles with will be held people in from Berlin, around the world. Island. I'd of love course. to know what they were Earlier on that, smiling in and March, chuckling we about. The Something European is amusing, them, that's for sure. In Guadalajara, These guys Spain. are thinking, well, what's going and on over there? at the end of the year, We'll be having the World Championships to be held on the right hand side there. Budapest, is now a country. For Sweden. An amazing year of oh, karate. It, maybe it's texts, maybe they're communicating. We still <laughs> have. Yeah. But it is, well, it's amusing. And it's, 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 it's amusing how infectious laughing can be. And isn't it wonderful to see smiling faces and an audience once more after. <laughs> the next one will be the male I wish Kata I knew what they were laughing match. about. After that, we'll be having male Kumite, minus 75 kilograms. But it's wonderful. Female Kumite, COVID had no audiences kilograms. in any sporting male events. Male Kumite, under 84 kilograms. But now that's kilograms. all changed and we're back Female to normal. Female Kumite, plus 68 kilograms. And male Kumite, that over 84 kilograms. It. And now From we are Tatami. ready. So, and the global going, male kata gold medal girls, match introducing first global karate Aka, project. Ready in red, coming is from the Commonwealth Spain. champion and that supersonic who was on the tatami just now, Amy Connell. Number Amy, four welcome. at the world ranking. Bronze medal in Marco Sinios last there. year. Did you enjoy that? Silver medalist at the last European Championships and it silver medalist at the Olympic Games. Please welcome coming back in a moment. We have to get on to the first of the, the Katam the matches, the, the final. You see the gold braid. And gold his opposition to the shoulder of Damien Quintero. Oh. Signifying that he is the current grand blue. winner. Coming from the United States of America. Number six at the world ranking, silver medal in Rabat last year. Silver medal at the Pan American, Pan -American Championship. Please welcome Tosaki Gakuji. Aka Super Impei. Ao Chepanyana Kusenku. We have Tosaki Gakuji from the United States. Going to be a tough call for Gakuji, but certainly has the ability, doesn't he, Amy? And yeah, your discipline is Kumite, and we saw what uh, some of your skills produ produced on the tatami a little while ago in, in that demonstration. Uh, some of those moves are not allowed in Kumite. You can't use open hand techniques to the face. Yeah. And when defending yourself out there in the bad world that can be, absolutely no problem. 
But in kata, many of those techniques, open hand techniques, are demonstrated as well, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. The art of self defence. I think that you see a lot of that in kata. They're just getting themselves composed and ready to go. And it'll always be the one wearing the red belt to start with. And that is Damien Quintero. Born in Argentina, relocated to Spain when he was a young man, young lad. And now represents Spain. His choice of kata, Super Empe. So although you're a Kumite player, Amy, you still, you know a lot about kata. You practice kata. Your sister, yeah. Stephanie, is a kata, kata player. Yeah. And, your, and, your, and your dad, yeah. Terry. I mean, a very traditional background. So yes, I very much so. And if you've just joined us and are not familiar with kata, the three key areas of karate is the key on, that's the basics with all the kicks and blocks and some of those we saw you demonstrating in your uh, Guardian Girls project just a while ago. And the kata, which is what we're seeing here, is where you bring those techniques together and put them in a very strict set sequence. And this is all to do with the tradition of passing on the language of karate. Each one of these moves has a meaning, and that can be represented in a bunkai when you're competing for real. But in this case, the kata must be strictly to the conformance of the style or the ruha. You can find kata in other elements of martial arts, judo, for example, Aido. And also in the tea ceremony, there's a kata, there's a specific way of doing things. And it has to be precise. This is all part of the language of karate. How you learn, how you show, demonstrate, and pass on that language, and you are one of the instructors now for the Guardian Girls Global Karate Project. Yes. Totally. That must be really exciting to get involved in something like that. And, and a great honour to be asked to get involved in that, Amy. Such an honour. It's such a great team partner, such an incredible program. Going forward. Super Empe, one of the longest katas in the list, the official list. There are 100 and 102 katas to choose from. But it's fair to say that we only see maybe 20 of them. Yeah, so I didn't the, know there was a hub when you said that. 102. So far, but all the basic katas, all the Hian katas, all the Pinan katas, yeah. they are on the official list of yeah. karate, but you wouldn't necessarily see them in competition at this level. That's not to say that you wouldn't see them at uh, grassroots level. Absolutely. As ever, a very polished performance from Damien Quintero. He's been world silver medalist three times. Each time against the superstar that is uh, Rio Kiuna. Tozaki Kakuji. There are different 
think it's Dale's. Absolutely. Chatnyara Kushanku. This is one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. He's a brilliant catter. Dynamic to watch. Very, very much so. Particularly the speed in the opening sequence. So quick on those turns, and he's got no margin of error, is there? Yep. He loses balance, it's a foul. All of which are taken into consideration. Judges are looking at the transitional movements from one stance to another, the quality of the stances, the timing, the speed. Impressive, great, wasn't it? great height. Very complex kata, so many moves to remember. Must be hours and hours and hours of training. They train to a point where they can't forget. Yeah. Muscle memory, isn't it? Indeed. The only time you see people uh, hesitate or forget is when they lose concentration. Yeah, they lose that focus start to think about something different. Mm -hmm. And that's the same in Kumite though, isn't it? Absolutely. That's when you get, you get scored on. You get a point, you miss something, you just you switch off for one split second. And, and your opponent seizes the opportunity. So dare you put your head on the block and tell me which one you think it's going to be. I think red. You think red. You think Damien Quintero. Is he going to add a 12th medal to his tally in the Karate One Premier League? Chief Judge making his way to the other side of the tatami. It's quite a walk. He'll go between both the athletes and then award the result. Damian Quintero correct. from Spain. Well done. Takes uh, the gold Absolutely medal brilliant. here Damien in title Quintero. 2023. Back on top. <laughs> Damian you son Quintero, of a guy. gold medalist here. Silver medal. Hey. Toshaki Yakuji Very. from Japan. 44, look, 44, one, 44, one. That's how tight it was. But then you have the tie break that comes into consideration where they bring in the highest score. 
And then if that's still a draw, they bring in the lower score. Right, so there's a tie break. So they never get to a situation where they would have to come back in. Can go as far as a toy, uh, coin toss. Really? Now we'll be having a lot of time ready again for the that, 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 would, that explains, doesn't it, why they were... Yeah, there we go. Wow, this is yeah. a special call for all it's, the medalists, please. But it's also Kindly great to see how close the competition is. Area in order to get ready for the medal ceremony. So, Once again, we tell me, kindly the Guardian Girls project the seminar all was yesterday. The to proceed How did it go? To the warming area, warming area, in order to get ready for the medal ceremony. So let's carry on. More action here. Next category on the way. Male Kumite under 75 kilograms. You said psychological. This is the because gold medal so much of this is this about category. how you make Male decisions, Kumite isn't it? Under 75 kilograms. Yep. And sometimes it's safer to fly. Absolutely. S flee the place. And, and, and I guess recognizing what is danger, what is and I know because you told me about this. You you look at it's a, a traffic light system. Star. Tell us about he that. He wants a lazier in Cairo. Please welcome Abdallah Hassan of Dergawa. And, and a very simple now. way of thinking, using that traffic light. Oh, way in blue. On to the male Kumite minus 75 Italy. kilogram category. Number seven at the world ranking. This is a match between this is a young Italian talent, gold medal in Lato Sinus last year. Please welcome and Daniel De Vivo. De Vivo. Michael Fang, the referee for the bout. Abdul Gawed was a bronze medalist in the Karate One Premier League at minus 67, but he hasn't won at minus 75 before. Whereas De Vivo has had two Karate One Premier League wins and a bronze medal. Daniel De Vivo was in the contention for the grand winner prize, but that has gone to Abdelaziz, Abdullah Abdelaziz of Egypt. That's the first warning, stepping off the tatami, off the mat. Have to stay in that eight meter red square. That red area is kind of a safety zone, so they know you're getting closer to the area. You can read your, your distance and your areas. How do you feel about the new rules, Amy? You fought under these? Yep. Last week I had a, a competition, and with the new rules, it was, I think they were really good. Nice and clean, and everything ran well. Oh, oh, nice. oh. That was a great kick there, wasn't it? Yep. From Abdel Gawad. A flurry of exchanges in techniques, and then he finished off with that roundhouse kick to the body, the Moashi Geri, to get his two point score and the Senchu. That gives him an advantage. So. 
The graphic didn't show the score, but I can tell you that it's two points to zero for Red. And he also has a central advantage. And now he's extending that again <laughs> with that amazing technique to take it further, three points. Very impressive. His speed. The speed of that. Yeah. Great, isn't it? Came from nowhere. There's a video review request from the coach of Daniel De Vivo. Again, there were exchanges of techniques. And here we are looking for a score from Blue. And that's what's being looked at, whether that kick was in. There's a score being put out for red, but was the score for blue good enough? And it wasn't. So it, it seemed too far away, didn't Just, it? Just, yeah, it passed the speed it looked like in the video review. So a big lead now of six points to zero as it stands, and the century is also held with Abdel Gawad of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Trying to be smart, trying to move in and getting his points back, but also being very wary of his legs because they're so sharp. <laughs> And he, he, he was uh, getting in there, but holding his arms yep. high, high as we move into the last minute of the bout. Divivo trying that foot sweep. Very quick, isn't he? That front hand popping out there. Yeah, great reactions. Vivo just slip, slipping in, losing balance. Seeing Egypt throwing in double roundhouse kicks. That's been happening quite a lot. Yeah. And Gianna Lotfi is telling us that it's part of the training. It's part of what they do in the drill. And they're yeah. all so good kickers. So good at kicking, aren't they? All yeah. really good kickers. They're all great. That's really, you can see that double kick. And, catch, and, catch the, and the rewards are so great, aren't they? Three points. Yeah. You've got to do three punches, yeah. one kick. Yeah. If you've got the, the ability and the flexibility, yeah. then that's the way to go, isn't it? Absolutely. And here, <laughs> Divivo graciously says, no, <laughs> you've won it today. Yeah. And it was, wasn't it? Tremendous. Wow. See what it means, can't you? Yeah. His first Premier League medal? It is. Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's the, he took a bronze in minus 67. He's up. never taken one at all until Silver today. Medal first one you take Daniel is a goal. That can't be a bad day. Yeah, yeah, like you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure just 22 years of age, it won't be his last, will it? No, absolutely. Lots more to come. That was the kick to the body, so wasn't it? One, two, three. Round the back, hit the arm, yep. let's go the other way, bang. It almost makes them think, OK, that's it. I missed that one, and then they reset, and then they catch another second one.
This is a special call for all the medalists. Please kindly proceed so to the So obviously you, you didn't compete this weekend. Busy, busy person ceremonies. with your project. Yeah. And uh, so w when you when you go back to Scotland, um, you'll be introducing this. You already do this run your own self-defense classes, don't you? And been doing that for a while, and that's obviously why you were asked by the WKF to get, ready for to get involved. Ceremony. And how, how are they much. going? Going, yeah. I started them like middle of last year and done a few different ones in Glasgow and Edinburgh, and it's been really yeah, amazing to see the difference in like, self-confidence in women. So for me, this even being asked to be able to help with this WKF Guardian Girl platform is, is incredible. So the Guardian Girls pro project is going to have seminars, as you did here yeah. in Cairo, at every w Premier League this year. Yeah, and uh, uh, and the World Championships, Continental Championships. Yeah. So it's, it truly is a global event. Is there a cost associated with it? Or is it free of charge for the people who are taking part? Completely free for the people taking part. Like, the aim is to really bring it to, to anybody and to let them feel that they can have that self-confidence, build self-defence through doing karate. Here we go with new category on the way. And now we are so ready for more Kumite action. Part. Female Kumite on their 68 kilogram. Here we go, our referees going on to our tatami. And it's a family for life, isn't it? 68 kilograms gold medal match. I remember you when you were a tiny little thing. That's how old I am. But anyway, back to karate. It is the minus 68 female kumite category now and the opportunity to see another great match, this time between Italy's Silvia Severero and our referee Carici. Introducing first Aka, wearing red, coming from Italy. Number three of the world ranking, silver medal in Baku last year. Gold medal in Matosinho, silver in Fujera, silver medalist at the last world championships. Please welcome Silvia Severero. Sylvia Sabanero, six times she's been karate one today. Ow, she's up against blue. Elena Kalichi, four times karate one winner. Eight times she's been silver medalist. Both of these gold medal are in very, very Last year, bronze very, very medal here at the players. Premier League held in 2021 in Cairo. Please welcome Elena Kalichi. I can see this, I can see this being either... Um, Go one of two ways. It's going to be very, very cagey, low score, or they're just going to fly for it. They're both very feisty fighters. Yeah, they enjoy getting about. They do. They do indeed. They're not used to just sitting back and. No. So the little testing phase at the beginning of the bout, teasing out your opponent, trying to yeah. find a way in. Yeah. So it's a key part of the bout, isn't it? Absolutely. It tends to be the first 40 seconds of most, isn't it? They kind of test and they see if they're reacting to anything and then they feel a bit more comfortable with the situation and their distance. So they both have a warning, a chewy for passivity. Referee saying, come on guys, get into the action. We've been patient enough. A minute, a third of the bag gone, still no score. There's 
looking like it's going to be a slightly cagier fight. Which is what we say. It's, it's going to go one way or the other. Yeah. It's going to be full of uh, action or it's going to be full of inaction. Both going in with punches at the same time. But it is Karichi who gets the flags from the judges. And also takes the Senchu. You see the green dot alongside that score for Elena Karichi. Teetering on the edge of the mat there. It's the foisty bit. Yeah, it's going to see. It's going to get a bit interesting now, isn't it, when one scores? <laughs> it's the second Chewy, second yellow dot for Semarero. Very strong, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, from the centre there, no one was moving. <laughs> That's the second Chewy this time for Karichi. So both level on warnings, but uh, it's that one point lead from Elena Karichi and the Senchu at the moment. So we Semerero in this last 45 seconds is going to have to change tactics a little bit. Yeah, do something different to get that point. Karichi determined to stand her ground. She wasn't going to go off that no. it mat too easily, was she? No, yep. <laughs> Not been pushed off. Exactly. <laughs> no, she took a knock, and that's what the referee was a bit concerned about. That's the third warning, this time for pushing. Semerero, a little bit of frustration, I think, in her, yeah. isn't she? she? She's not quite sure how to get round yeah. this with Karichi. Again, Karichi being clever, yeah. stepped back out of the way, yeah. started to draw Semerero in, and then in over the top of the punch. Oh, that was so close, and she still didn't go off the mat. Yeah. <laughs> With just five seconds left, she'll lose the century on this occasion. That's that green dot, that'll disappear. There's a video review call from the coach of Elena Karichi. Now, I'm not sure if this was tactic, a tactical call or whether there was a genuine call for a point. There was a punch from Kurichi, yeah. but whether it would met the criteria for Ippon, that criteria meaning...
And this is a, another change to the rules where the referee can speak with the with the coach, uh, with the canter, with the match area controller. So the video didn't go ahead, but there's a video. There was a video review oh. request there right at the last second. Elena a little Girucci. bit of uh, confusion there toward the end of the bout. But no confusion as to who, to, who took the medal, here, and it was Elena Carucci from Switzerland. Yeah. Silver medal, Silvia Semero from Italy. Congratulations, both of you. You'll be back in action on the tatami when? Will you be doing the European Championships? Yes, European Championships for sure. Looking forward to that in Guadalajara. Well, in Guadalajara. And what about uh, Caracol Premier League? Yes, I'm not quite sure of my schedule yet for them, but yeah, looking forward to definitely getting someone in the bag this year. Well, there's still Morocco, Morocco Japan. Japan. Yep, we've got one in Dublin. And Dublin. And Dublin. Yeah, yeah. And we did, first time there. Closer yeah. to home. <laughs> Yes, yes, and, uh, and that should be an exciting destination. That was a clean point there, wasn't it, from Elena Carici? Yeah. Guardian Girls Global Karate Project, is there a, an age limit? Is it can it can it be anybody? Yeah. Any age? Open to anybody. I think that's. Any female? Any female? Yep. Any female. That's the the main kind of aim again of the, the project is that it's for anybody, for any age, younger, older. There's no self defence or something for everybody. There's not like a yeah. an age limit. It's not like a competition or anything like that. The demonstration you saw there was a like a, an over a kind of exaggerated version of what we do. Like a lot of the moves are a lot simpler as well because. We want to be able to teach people to react quickly and people who've never been able to do martial art before. So um, what they learn is something that anyone can learn from any background and any age. We are ready for with the martial arts is male has, it has under 84 kilograms. Probably a more of an impact on Very how you think much. and how you react to what you can physically do. Absolutely. I think that's the, the case for a lot of people, for women, for self-defense. Like, they're not going to be as strong as the person who's going to be attacking them. So a lot of it is the, the psychological part to, to react fast and to get out of the situation as clean as possible for them. Yeah, and not to stand and confront and no. fight, but no. to get out yeah. of danger Disengage, yeah. and be safe. Absolutely. And, and part of that is um, avoiding dangerous situations, yeah. dark alleys. Yeah, making the yeah, right that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Put yourself in a vulnerable Calling first, Aka, wearing red, coming from Male, minus Italy. 84 kilogram category. Number 27, uh, they were ranking bronze medal at Series This three. is between Inhabit. Italy and Ukraine. Two weeks ago, he's the Mateo current Fiore. under 21 champion of the world, Matteo Fiore. Matteo Fiore, as you heard, under 21 champion of the world. He's up against Valeria Chobita. Oh, in blue, coming from Ukraine. Number 34, uh, they were ranking gold medalist in Raba 2019. And he's looking forward to the old days. Please welcome Valeri Chobita. Valery Totba, 25 years of age. In Ukraine, one of those nations with very, very strong karate players. Yeah, very strong. We've been a lot of them in the medal matches today. So. Ibram Aldkix of Jordan is the referee for the bout. If you were looking at phases of the match, yeah. do you have any kind of thought about what, what would you prefer, the beginning, the middle, or the end, or where, uh, where, where do your nerves kick in? Before you get on the, when, 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 yeah. how do you manage all that situation? Yeah, I think for, for 
for me personally, maybe for other athletes as well, like the once you're past the first 30 seconds, it feels normal again. Like you can settle first. a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can settle a little Absolutely, bit into that. Yeah, the first bit there. Um, yeah, I think it's the first kind of like the walkout and the, the first 30 seconds where you're still like finding yourself testing that distance and then you kind of ease into it you kind of know their distance and you try to work it out from there so i think the nerves definitely settle a little bit once you've done the first kind of 30 to yes. 40 seconds for me personally well I'm, i i think that's fair to say that a lot of a lot of people would have that yeah. the different phases of thought mm -hmm. Coming into the closing stages, if you're winning, how does that affect you? If you're losing, how does that affect you? There's a big difference, isn't there, there when you're... Is that something you can train for? I think the more matches you do, the more you put yourself into, like, for us, like, or you put yourself into scenarios where you train what you're up one point, you're down two points, like, how do you actually react and treat it like a real fight so you're not just playing it. You really think you're panicking, you're like, I need to get two points back here. I've got 30 seconds on the clock. How do I do that? really kind of stimulates exactly how you feel and but tra training really gives you the same pressure as the real thing no, though no. does it no of course not you can never get there can't replicate the, the real of being in a competition with the nerves really kicking in so yeah the, the best way to do it is for getting into matches and doing as many competitions so it becomes another day at the office yeah. yeah good day or a bad day it's just another day at the office for you No score between these two as we come into the last minute of the bout. Chotobar tries the Chudan technique. Fiore with that kick. Video review request from both of the coaches. So this will be an interesting one. Absolutely, the, the Chobatar's point or the, the one that they're reviewing came after the red kick and he thought he scored, so he kind of had a wee moment of stopping and that's when that punch went in, so it'll be interesting to see the video review. You see that block attempt. Now, what's the distance correct for the kick? For that to score or not. See the punch in the top right hand screen. There we go, there's the punch, but is it too far away? So w were you convinced that either of these scored? Blue looked close, but not close enough maybe from their point of view. Okay, so red gets the score, one point, and blue wasn't successful. Now, he's having a discussion with, with his coach, he's a bit frustrated, disappointed that he didn't get a score. Yep. Is he saying to his coach, why did you put the card up? <laughs> I know, I know. So, isn't it? It's a little bit of back and forth. Could be. Fiore, one point in the lead. He has the century advantage to go with it. Now I see what the confusion is. The, the red video it, review down. Okay. That's right. That's right. So they put the score the wrong side. That was why he was frustrated. And you can't blame him for yeah, being no, so, can you? Yep, absolutely. Why, why wouldn't he be? <laughs> so that would mean that, would mean that uh, the Senchu would also be on the other side.
So there were two video reviews. Initially it was given to Red, but is actually the video review revealed that it was Red was unsuccessful because yeah. the kick was too close. So yeah. and they didn't see any, yeah. and 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 they had given a one point for the kick. Yeah, for the thing. Makes sense. Then. <laughs> But that was like we were talking about earlier, that split second where he thought he'd scored and that's when Blue caught him with that punch. Correct. So it just it shows how, how fast you need to be on your on the ball for the full time. But I was impressed with the measured frustration yeah. from Jobata. Yeah. Yep. To be fair. That's very true, yeah. Took it well. <laughs> We're moving into the last 15 seconds. That was a better effort for that punch from Fiore. And Sokachui. Well, that was a clever turn out of danger, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Really good feet movement there. Good side kick, video review request. Becoming quite a common technique to use, isn't it, in that last few seconds, yeah. keeping your opponent away from you. Absolutely. Defensive side kick. Yeah. Get your head out of the way, it protects you from punches, doesn't it? Yes, it, head kick it's, a, it, it's a safe technique to use. And there it is. What was it good enough to convince the video review judge? Didn't convince the judges sitting in the seats. No, oh, didn't convince the video review either. <laughs> Perhaps not enough vigorous application. Yeah, because it, it hit, looks like it hit, but it's just bringing it back, isn't it? And yeah. being nice and strong in and That's out. That's right. Yeah. Turning it into a kick rather than a push. Oh! Takes the here. But uh, Valery Chobotar from Ukraine takes it off. from Ukraine. Back to the all winning days for Valery Chobotar. Silver medal, Matteo Fiore from Italy. Congratulations, both of you. Going through the program fast and furious here, Amy. Just two matches to go. There's a kick from Fiori, and you see him waving. Put the flag. Put yeah. the card up. That's where he was calling for it. What's your view of the round robin now that uh, it's in the Premier League? Yeah. You, th you think it should be the European Championships, World Championships? You think it should be round robin? Oh, interesting question. Yeah, I, mean, I think it gives people an opportunity for and more matches. And second, a special like, call. People learn from one match. Special to call to match. all the medalists, please. I, I personally enjoy all it. The medalists. It gives you, gives you a good chance to, to come out of the round. In order to get the ready the for the medal ceremony, the players have all lost the medalists, seven one in the medalists, first round. Yep. Silver one medalists, ten two in the second medalists, round, please proceed and then six zero in the third round, and then we're all to go into the medal round. Whereas normally the they would be knocked down and that on the plane going home. Yep, sitting home after three minutes. So I think it gives people a real opportunity for like engaging in more combat and that's what we want to see more karate people getting better the more matches they have them the stronger the techniques and everything gets here we have our karate club kumite continues with the hey, plus Maria. 68 this kilogram is our category karate club here the world champion the in that shot there from stadium. spain yep. maria torres gotier and again some okay. of our younger 
up and UL coming. Life TV. Rather shy hey at the guys, moment, which on. is lovely to see. How beautiful. It's lovely to see so many kids in the audience. Isn't it? Yeah, it's fabulous. Come on, make some noise over Joe there. Is me it's hey, you are on the main million. screen. Practice karate Hello. in the Federation. Wow. That's registered players hey. in Egypt. How are you? Outside of football yeah. is the second Waiting. highest Hello. Uh, higher sport, highest One more. participation Hello. sport in Egypt. Hello, over there. Yeah. No wonder they're How so good. Doing? Yeah, absolutely. It's great. So many medal matches happening. Relaxing. Fantastic. They're relaxing yeah. here. And now we are ready for the next category on the way. Next bout is between Japan Female Kumite and over 68 kilograms. This Gold medal match. Kusa Ayumi from Japan. She was a bronze medalist in Baku. She got a gold medal in Rabat. 11 times she's been Karate One Premier League winner. She's up against Sofia Berlatseva. Olympic bronze medal medalist match. and world I bronze medalist. I the quality category. right in through the division is phenomenal. Aka wearing red coming from it's Japan. Japan. No Number five. Are there world ranking? Gold medal in the world. You, 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 you compete in the Asian Youth League, champion, maybe. Please welcome. You compete in the A series. You've got to get in. You've got to break into that top 100 to even get a chance to come here. It's just incredible. Every Premier League is like a world championship. There she goes. And her rival today. Oh, really that's blue. Really, that's really important. Coming yes. from Kazakhstan. She's the number two at the world ranking. Silver medalist at the last Asian Championships. And she got a bronze medal at Dubai World Championships. Bronze medal at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Sofia Belotseva. Sofia Belotseva, Kazakhstan. Another great nation of fierce fighters. Absolutely strong. Tremendous, tremendous. She was brilliant in the Olympics. I was really impressed with her, particularly, I have to say, in the round robin because she was just so confident. Absolutely. Keeps the fight, didn't she? Yes, <laughs> she did. Referee for the bout, Fariba Madani from the United States, who was also in Japan, an Olympic referee. Yes, great referee. Off we go in the penultimate final of the first Karate One Premier League of the season here in Cairo, Egypt. Again, athletes that know each other so well. It's always a little cagey, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, they're, same, they're very similar in style, yeah. in yeah. The, their persona, the way they are, the way they move. Very similar. And, and that can often cancel each other out, can't it? Yeah, yeah. Both very, like, waiting for something, aren't they? Like, waiting for a little slip or waiting for something. Just for that loss of concentration, perhaps, yeah. to give them an opening to make an attack. Be leading to another passivity warning. That's exactly what's happening. Chewy on both sides. Now we'll see a little bit of action coming down. <laughs> yeah, we're about halfway through the bout, so you can expect, and there it is, yep. straight away from both of them. 
two flags each. Still a low change. One point each now. Harold you know, Savage just trying that kick it to, to try and find a way of opening up yeah. the defences. So isn't it sometimes it's a, a kick just to kind of like... Just a tease. tease. Yeah, not to score, but just to kind of get in and break yeah. the distance. Yes, but move that arm out yeah. of the way. so similar in their, their actions, aren't they? They really are. This is also an important match for Ayu, uh, Wekasao Yumi. If she wins this match, she becomes grand winner. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot at stake for her. Absolutely. And Cairo's Karate One Premier League is important because it provides points for not only the 2023 season, but also for the 2022 season because the last Premier League in, in Moscow was was cancelled. Um, so there's so much at stake for these players. Here's the video review. Both going in again at the same time. Wekasa's punch looks on target and in the centre of the body. But Beryl Savis punch seemed to turn over slightly, didn't it? Yes, it did. So Red has scored, that's Uekasa. Mm. And Beryl Savis arm, you could see it's it turned tight. over, didn't it? Yeah. So it didn't score. So that now gives the initiative yes, to Uekasa Ayumi. Mm. And she has the century to go with it. Now she's looking a bit happier. Yeah. She can see that. <laughs> she can see those gold yep, embroidery <laughs> starting to appear on her shoulders. Yep, it's probably halfway down one arm at the moment. <laughs> just working on the other arm. Yeah. She's very comfortable with her time in Yakuza, isn't she? Beryl Saver is. Uh, she's not going to give this match up easily. That's for sure. There's a key eye to her coach saying, come on, put that card up. <laughs> I've got three points, I think. Yeah. Didn't get the flags, though. No. So the judges weren't happy that it was a score. So we can see any better from the video. Which one will they go for? The top right-hand screen. Is her foot off the tatami? Is there a Joe guy? Is her toe off the tatami, in which case they can't score. So don't just look at the punch. Yep, yeah, it's, just, it, well, it's close, isn't it? Punch, it's very, very clean. tight. The punch looks, you can score on someone who's off the tatami if you're inside. But that toe was close to the tatami. But if the foot was on the tatami, oh, it was a score. Must so have been just, so yes. the video must have said, no, it was a valid score. Yep. But the judges may have felt something different. Yep, absolutely. Oh, another nice good part. punch there yeah. from Uekusa. Just eight seconds left to go. Uekusa. Ayumi leading seven points to one. She also has the century advantage. Just getting a warning there for talking. And you don't lose the century unless it's time wasting. Yeah. 
And there she just uh, wasn't listening to the... Yeah. That's right. She was, she was being told to just pay attention. Mm. She's going to lose a century on this occasion. She's on Hansel Kuchui. But she does take Aka. the gold medal. And Yumi Uekusa Ayumi from Japan. Kyo 2023. A great day, you might say, at the office. Silver yes, medal, Sofia Berunseva. A golden day, day. very much a golden day. <laughs> I like it. I've been hanging out with you too much, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. And what a, what a convincing Yumi. win gold it was. Gold medal here. Of the Karate One Premier Seven League score. in She's Cairo 2023. with that. <laughs> B, well done. Fabulous. So fabulous. happy. There she goes. Magic. It's something about sport that you don't see in lots of other walks of life. How many days do you come home from work yeah. with a smile like that on your face? Absolutely, yeah, exactly. It's so true. Imagine having a job that made you leave the office like yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we were talking about the Guardian Girls Global Karate Project, and you look at the confidence that this yeah. can offer. It's phenomenal. Build, that self-confidence that can build gives yeah. you that powerful, like Super techniques. Thank you very much. Amy, we're at the last match. Already, the program has gone so quickly. Yeah. Biggest smiles here on our this biggest the screen. Heavyweight Come on. division of the Say male categories. Over there. Yeah. The Come men's on. plus smiles. 84 kilogram category. You are TV live all over the world. All your friends are watching you. Come on, big smile over there. We have Ta Tarek Mahmoud of Egypt, another Egyptian player coming out to compete for a gold medal. He's up against the Spaniard. Babacar Sexaco. Okay, uh, Babacar ready for Sexaco the came into this the via a protest Mel in one of the matches. Over where we a video review our referees, our revealed ready. that uh, the technique that we his opponent did was our second, and you can't Colin score Burns. the second. Yeah. So from a three-point score, it was taken Rain away. Red. 50 seconds put back on the clock. And they fought again. They fought again. Babacar from set one. Egypt, and number here he is one. going for gold. Uh, and that was because of the medal. knowledge of the rules. Robert from the Silverman coach, Ivan Baku and Fujaira. Here's the current African champion. Show Please you welcome the teamwork is. Baha Tariq Oh, we're in blue. Coming from Spain, number six of the world ranking. Silver medal in Rabat. Gold medal in Matosinos. Babacar Sek. Babacar Sek. What a star he is. Junior World Bronze Medalist. Hasn't won a Continental Medal now, no. which is, could be a matter of weeks away. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on the form, on the form in Guadalajara. Yeah, absolutely.
There's a place to do it, isn't it? <laughs> it is indeed. You're seeing the, the athletes getting, seem to be getting younger now. 19, 20, 22. The, yeah. You know, we have uh, Mahmoud, 22. Yeah. Sek is 24. Yeah. You see 19 year olds taking gold medals, yeah. and bronze medals. The front leg came up with this, some speed there from Ta Tarek Mahmoud. That punch over the top from Baba Karsek. Excellent timing. Opens the score, gets the century advantage to go with it. that he was getting from sec yeah. and then decided to let fly with that punch Absolutely. there's a punch scored there from Mahmoud but at the same time a video review from Ivan Lille the coach of Baba Karsik bottom right hand screen you can see the punch from Mahmoud Which one are we going to look at here? That's the punch from Sek. That's the one from Mahmoud. And there's another one from Sek after. So if it was the first one that they felt was a score, fine. If it was the second one, because Mahmoud scored, it can't. <laughs> I think it's a great, a great new rule. Yeah. I think it really is. Well, the, the whole point of karate is to score first. To of course, react, so. of course. Yeah. Great. There again, we see yes. that punch coming in to the midsection. Mahmoud really extending his lead further. And with it, his confidence grows. Yeah, good timing there. There's still two minutes to go, a long way to go. Abakar Sek will be hunting him down. Kick down the back. One flag was given. There is a video review request from the coach of Ta Ma Tariq Mahmoud. Certainly the, he got the reaction from the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Have been great. <laughs> and here's the kick that they're looking at. Now, did it have good form? That is a, a thought going through the mind of the referee looking at this. Did it turn over? Was the trajectory up or in? Was that good enough? You could score anywhere on the back, yeah. as you well know. Was it? strong enough isn't it it's a combination yeah so it, there are six yeah. things you've got to get right yeah. to get a score but it's a an important call for the video review yeah. referee who yeah. believes yes yeah. it was a valid score another two points wrong here no. he's doing so well no. less was, was deemed to be too hard brilliant timing though yeah, okay. judges still have their flags out for the score let's have a look there's the punch oh. could have been too hard it's possible but not in the good opinion point. of the referee and judges yeah. good point yeah. A 
just so impressive the speed so fast. of these big the cars. Yes. Again, Mamoudi takes a Yuko. There's still a long way to go in reality. One minute, 29 seconds. We're only halfway through the bout. Absolutely. Very high score and exciting first half. Sek just really needs to settle himself a bit here. Yeah. I think he's starting to panic a little. And, a little and then he's running into danger. Yeah, there's lots of time left on the clock. So much coming out of the arsenal of Mahmoud. He's throwing punches and kicks. Back and then wait for the yeah, absolutely. I'm just amazed at the confidence both these fighters have with their hand on their knees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's good. laughs> Leading with their chin. Yeah. And then the speed, as you say, Super. of that front hand comes up so quickly. Yeah. Being caught again with the punch. Yeah. Babakar Sek is a World Games gold medalist. But this isn't uh, the result he was expecting. And the winner of this match determines the grand winner as well. Oh, it's all on the, on the table here. It could, could, it could if, if Mahmoud wins, he's grand winner. Yeah. Sek oh, wins. Oh, wow. wow. What a technique oh, okay. was that? <laughs> oh, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Still got eight seconds to go. Yeah. It'll be 7-4. Four flags. Yeah. And he has sent you. Yeah. He gets a, a three-point score. Yeah. He now wins the match. This is how tight this is. Yeah, absolutely. It's a grand winner at stake. <laughs> it's the match at stake. Yeah. The gold medal. Never give up. Never give up. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. Absolutely tremendous. This last eight seconds. Mamu is going to be expecting a lot of pressure to come. And he'll be relying on his counters. Yeah. Look yeah. at that wow. takedown. Beautiful takedown. It's perfect. It's that moment, isn't it, when you're not planning anything, but it just happens for them. That's it's the training, isn't it? Here we yeah. go, into the last eight seconds. Papa said, got to be hunting him down. Needs to come in with a kick. Tries it high. He needs three points to win this. Uh, time up. Yeah. Not uh, enough time left. No, no. Give it a good good shot at the end. Of what a match. Wow. And I can tell you that. Babakar Sek Congratulations. did all he could in that last few seconds yeah. to try and come back into it. It just wasn't to be. Yeah. What a Middle great East. win there from Tarek Congratulations as well. Taking the gold medal in his home city in Cairo yeah. Yeah. and becoming the grand winner of him. the <laughs> season. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Karate. What a great match to finish Absolutely. on, Amy.
just a, an opportunity to have a look at some of that action. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of the competition. Now we still have the melon ceremonies to go. So please don't go very far, because we still have our medal ceremonies onto our main podium. We kindly request, and this is a special call for all the medalists, please proceed to the warming up area, warming up area in order to get ready as soon as possible for the medal ceremonies. Thank you. It's been such an exciting and we program. Also, at the Some end of the medal ceremonies, we'll be having the grand winner ceremony. And the Karate One Premier League rolls on. Next time it's uh, Morocco yes. in Rabat. Continental Games in all of the continents are happening this year. Yep. European Games. Hopes of qualifying? Absolutely, yes. Always. Yeah, always yeah. So your best match for today, what would you think? I'm going with the last one there. The great last one was excellent, wasn't it? Brilliant on both sides. And great technique. Yeah. For you? Yeah, and I thought I thought that was fantastic. There was a match earlier. Amazing score. 15-12. Yeah.